It's Black Friday, the day when all hell breaks loose, right after Thanksgiving. Coming up next on Pastor Bob's Coffee Break. I survived the great toilet paper crisis of 2020. <laughs> that will be a mug to, to go forward that will be talked about, I'm sure. You know, it's amazing how, whew, how many times people use greed and hoarding and everything with their stuff. I want to talk about that today. Because the things that we own sometimes begin to own us. Ever been in that situation? And I have. I think I've told you before that I, I, um, I sold a large home that I did live in before I moved here. And I downsized from 4,300 square feet to 300 square feet. Now, there's nothing wrong with living in a big home, and I may do it again, who knows? I mean, I don't have a problem with it necessarily, but I realized that a lot of things were hard to let go of when I had to sell everything. That's the part that isn't good. So, <clears throat> Thanksgiving, and I hope you had a great Thanksgiving, those of you that live in the United States, obviously, those in other countries uh, don't celebrate Thanksgiving. It's a United States thing. But um, I hope you had a great one if you live here and you were thankful for all the things that God has given you, family and friends and a place to live and all of that. And it's interesting that the day after we give thanks, people begin to fight each other squeeze through the open doors of stores and go after everything that's on sale and they fight for it and they grab it. And did we forget what we just did yesterday? <laughs> you know what I'm saying? And the problem is that this mindset of accumulating things, it's on sale, so I need to get it. And, you know, uh, I joke with my mom sometimes you know, when we go out and go bargain shopping, because we do, we're both bargain shoppers, and I don't like to buy anything unless I can get it on sale, pretty much. And um, and uh, we always say, you know, it's not how much you spend, it's how much you save. But we're joking, of course. But there are some people that kind of live by that. And uh, I got a great bargain on this, I got a great bargain on this, and and they take it all home and sometimes it just sits there. They don't even get it out of the packages because it wasn't really about that they needed anything. It's that they got a great sale. They got a good deal. Well, that's not everybody, but some people are like that. But we're all this greed thing, this hoarding thing. And hoarding doesn't mean you have a lot of stuff that's out of place. It means that you sometimes have a lot of stuff you just really don't need. Mm -hmm. You know, folks, I think the more we draw closer to Christ, the more we realize that our treasures aren't here, that this stuff that we have doesn't really matter. And I've talked to people who have lost everything in fires or floods or tornadoes recently here. We have friends that lost everything. And at the end of the day, you know, the thing that they say, I wish we would have kept our pictures. That's why you should always keep your pictures digitally on the cloud. Just saying. But everything else can be replaced. And we fight so hard to protect our stuff. And at the end of the day, if it's gone, it's gone. You're just thankful to be alive. And I guess this is a legitimate question. Do you own your stuff or does it own you? Are you kind of captive to it? Do you have this need for more and more stuff to accumulate, to make your stuff grow? 
You know, I love the fact that my family has kept heirlooms throughout the years, many years. And uh, my mom, for instance, has, you know, all of her things, her dressers, her, her a lot of her china, just so much stuff. It's not just hers or her mother's, but her great grandmother's. It, you know, the, and my dad too. The, you, this this stuff goes on for many generations, and it means something. They're family things. It isn't just something you went down to the store and bought. And uh, and those are the things that take up the space because they mean something. Now, if they were all gone tomorrow, we'd still be okay. We, you know, they're family heirlooms, so they we would miss their significance. But, you know, folks, I think at the end of the day, and this is important, it doesn't matter how big your house is, doesn't matter how much stuff you have, and it really doesn't to me. If you have a large home, nothing wrong with that. If you have a small home, nothing wrong with that. Uh, whatever you have, if you have a lot of stuff, if you're wealthy or if you're poor, the thing that matters is what you do with it up here. Do your things own you or do you own them? Good food for thought. Well, that's all I wanted to say today. I, it just occurs to me on, on Good Friday that we have a totally different mindset than we did yesterday as people are shopping today. Shop till you drop day. <laughs> But don't forget, in the middle of all of this, you are blessed. So go and be a blessing.